Thank you so much for joining us for this news update. I'm Amber Grigley. An overload of 911 calls shortly after the clock hit midnight on New Year's Eve is believed to have caused a failure in the Marion County 911 system. It was down for nearly two hours. Director of the Marion County 911 Center Michael Hub says there were more calls for help than dispatchers could handle. The majority of those calls was for shots fired. He says as of right now, AT&T believes there were around 1,130 incoming 911 calls between midnight and 2 a.m. Citizens reporting, uh, calling 911 scared. You know, a lot of the calls when they were talking with dispatchers, you could hear the open gunfire in the background. Uh, some of it was automatic gunfire. Um, it was something that you would not uh, expect for Indianapolis. It's something you almost watch on TV in a movie. Now, the ability to send first responders to scenes was not impacted, but Hub says they're working to figure out what exactly caused the system failure and is holding those responsible accountable. A section of New York Street that was supposed to reopen last week is now set to reopen Monday, weather permitting. Now, we're talking about New York Street under I-65 between East and Pine Streets. It's been closed for about two weeks now. NDOT says it decided to delay the reopening last Thursday because of recent weather patterns. Kyle? Weather shouldn't be an issue heading into our Monday here. We are going to finally see some sunshine working its way back in, but temperatures remaining on the cold side here. 22 degrees at 10 a.m., about 29 at 2, and we'll see those afternoon highs getting into the lower 30s. Most spots may not make it out of the 20s around Peru and Kokomo, but 32 for the high in Indy, 34 in Columbus. Let's fast forward to that next potential weather maker on Truecast and Thursday. The chance that we could see some light accumulating snow with the system that moves through. Still a little early to be talking about any amounts with that one, but it comes with some cold air. Look at that. Thursday, Friday highs only around 20 degrees. We'll jump up though next weekend.